New board members of the Uganda Broadcasting Corporation were appointed a few months ago after the disbandment of the previous board for financial impropriety. But as the new members move to officially assume their roles as the national broadcaster, police officers at the entrance blocked them on orders of the acting managing director, Paul Kihika. Kihika had reportedly handed the police officers a court statement allegedly to block the new board from taking over, citing the ongoing case in the constitutional court filed by the old board, challenging the appointment of the new board. Minutes later, more security personnel were deployed at the UBC premises. A source told NTV that this was after the authenticity of the court statement was questioned. It is just an opinion from, I think, uh, the registrar, and it has no binding force on the UBC board. Board members including the chairman Nathan Naveta, Simon Kaheru, Ian Cheyune were allowed into the premises. They then headed to the managing director's office, which was found closed. Embattled MD Paul Kihika had reportedly gone with the keys. I called the when there was gathering. Yes. I stopped him. It is true. I stopped him. But I called no, him. If Simon understands, I also then understand. I have no complaints. Police was forced to call the fire and rescue team to break the doors open. The drama unfolded at Broadcast House on Nile Avenue here in Kampala as UBC staff members looked on. UBC board chairman Nathan Naveta told NTV that Paul Kihika was relieved of his duties as MD in July, but he sought another 40 days to prepare to hand over, which request was rejected, but Kihika insisted on staying. When you find him, you please tell him that actually we missed him. We had actually wanted to have him here in this handover. The board appointed senior engineer Angelo Nkeza as the new acting UBC managing director. Engineer Nkeza has had 30 years here so far. Actually, he started 30 years ago uh, with UTV uh, as, as the national broadcaster and has here to been at the helm of the digital migration project. Kehika was named acting managing director three years ago, taking over Musinguzi Mugasa was sacked amid similar controversy. Kihika's tenure has seen delayed staff salaries, financial mismanagement and failure to remit staff NSSF contributions. It's a question of time whether the new board will redeem the national broadcaster of the perennial scandals. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.